all the way from Calabasas, California, the star of today's video, Blue Blood. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alyssa, in case you are new here, welcome and thank you so much for clicking on my video today. Today, we are doing something a little bit different. So I wanna start a new series on my channel. Well, series, I'm gonna put it in air quotes cause it's not gonna be like a, a set thing. It's gonna be kind of sporadic, but I wanna do kind of a series of some sort of one year later updating you guys on palettes, how they have performed for me one year later, um, and just how much I've reached for them in general. Yeah, so today <laughs> we are doing it on Blue Blood. I'm not gonna do this on every single palette that I own. Um, I've got a lot right here. These are all of the palettes that I have. Oh, hi, Casey. Um, but, I'm not doing it on every single palette. I think I'm just gonna do it on the eyeshadow palettes that seem to have a little bit more hype surrounding them and that kind of broke the internet of some sorts. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, today um, I'm gonna do Blue Blood, like I said, because it was released a little over a year ago. Jeffree Star's Blue Blood palette released on March 29th, 2019. We're a little bit past the year mark on the release date. This palette was put out as sort of like a sister palette to the palette that broke records according to Jeffree, um, which was his Blood Sugar palette. So this is the follow-up to that palette. This palette, much like most of his other collections, did not just get its own palette. It got a full collection of things, including liquid lipsticks. I know that there was like a liquid lipstick mini bundle. It got mirrors. It got clothing merchandise. It got lip scrubs. And actually, I picked up one of the lip scrubs to that because I couldn't resist. Um, this one's in the sh shade, in the scent Blue Freeze. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. But I hardly even use it. So I definitely want to get back more into using it so I pulled that out for this. Um, the reason I got that is because this is actually the first palette of Jeffree's that I bought. I've been a long time watcher of his. I've watched his videos for a few years now and I've really enjoyed his content. Um, never really got around to purchasing anything of his but I think it's just because I've kind of been weird about like buying stuff online and so he had never been in a store up until Morphe. So I purchased this palette actually at my local Morphe store in Portland. And yeah, that's why I decided to get two things to kind of commemorate, like kick off the whole Jeffrey bandwagon. So that's when I got this. I know that this palette was super coveted because once everyone found out that it was kind of a follow-up to the Blood Sugar palette, it got a lot of hype around it as well. And so this collection actually sold out a few, or this palette rather, this palette sold out actually quite a few times over the past year. It hasn't, it didn't just sell out on the initial launch, but every time that it would restock, it would sell out pretty much immediately. I actually put out a video semi-recently when I did um, an unboxing for Jeffree Star's mystery boxes. I got all three of his mystery boxes and I did like a live stream unboxing sort of thing. I actually got the Blue Blood palette in one of the boxes. I posted it online in one of my Facebook, local Facebook buy and sell groups to see if anyone else would want it because obviously I don't need two. And it actually got surprisingly a lot of inquiries. Like a lot of people still really really seek this palette out and it's still a very much bought palette. <laughs> Let's just open her up and see what she looks like one year later. Ah! Okay, here she is. I'm not very messy when it comes to my eyeshadow palettes. I don't really tend to, I mean I don't really clean my palettes either. I just sort of let them accumulate what it's gonna accumulate. But this is totally me, like, without wiping it down or whatever, I don't really do anything to clean my palette. So as you can tell, it doesn't have really any, like, fallout or anything under it. I mean, the mirror's a little bit dirty, a little bit dusty from some of the shades, but that's fine. But overall, there's not really, like, a lot of kickback that come from these shadows, so that's nice. Um, <laughs> this one I wanted to point out to you guys. Uh, so, 
one shade right here in particular, I don't know if you guys can see this, Crystal Flesh. This guy um, is upside down because um, I haven't glued it back into place. This thing was uh, not, not so secure down here. So I will say this can happen to any palette. I should probably flip it back around. This can happen to any palette. Like I'm not trying to dig on Jeffrey and his product at all, but this happens with any product. It's just the glue. It didn't stay as well as it should have, but I'm not mad at that. It, it's just something that happens. So I just need to re-glue that back in there. This guy probably, it. I think this happened like two or three months ago. So it wasn't like very soon after I got the palette. It's been a while. During the timing around this launch, Jeffrey had actually announced that he was going to be coming to the Portland Morphe store um, to do kind of its grand opening thing. Like I said before, it had just opened. So of course I had planned to go to that in conjunction to him announcing that he was coming and me wanting to go to that meet and greet. That kind of had an influence on me wanting to buy this palette and wear it, meet him potentially. And yeah, so that was actually a really fun video. I did a video on my experience with it and I'll link it down below. Sorry, I had to switch cameras. My battery died on my other one, which is fine because I actually like this camera better. Anyways, so I think where I left off was uh, the meet and greet, but I was done with that thought anyways. How often did I personally use this palette for the past year? Um, I would definitely say I used it heavily around that time, like I said, when I first got it. But then also throughout the year, I tended to kind of stay away from it just because it's not really my favorite shade to wear, to be honest, on my eyes. It doesn't really go great with my eyes. It doesn't like make my eyes pop like it would with other eye colors. But I do like it for certain times when I want a certain blue. But if I'm doing a particular look and I need a blue, this is usually the palette that I'll turn to to find a blue. I did use this palette off and on for the past year, but not consistently for like one full look, just because I don't really find that this palette serves me one full day-to-day -day look. The shades that I wear the most are probably Blue Blood, Blue Monday, and Ocean Ice just because those three are like really powerful distinct blues and the ones that I probably use the least are Priceless, Untouchable, like the neutrally ones, uh, Celebrity Skin and Wealthy just because I have those in every other palette that I have. I do feel like, what is this palette? Isn't it a 12 month? shelf life yeah 12 months shelf life quote unquote they have to put that for uh legal reasons but i do feel like over the past year the pigment and the texture formulation hasn't really changed at all it's been the same exact formulation it hasn't like gotten any worse or anything over the past year i will say that because of the pigment being so rich there is some staining with some of these shades, like for Blue Monday, for example, and I think even Deceased, like the ones that are heavily, heavily pigmented blues, those are gonna leave some redness on your eyes. I definitely had redness the day after, after I'd washed my makeup off. I mean, it's not like, a totally bad thing it's just it's something that happens but that is something to keep in mind if you're not wanting something that will stain your lids it didn't cause any irritation or anything though but if you do have sensitive eyes that could be a problem for you I personally don't so it's it's just a preference so who do I believe this palette is for I believe this palette is not for the everyday person who is just wanting to do like a simple office look. I mean, unless blues are like your typical go-to office look, then by all means. But personally for me, I don't really tend to gravitate towards blues like I said, but I do like it every once in a while for a pop of color or if I'm looking for to do something in particular and wanting like a certain thing. But yeah, blues I just don't really tend to gravitate towards, which is odd because this is the first palette of his that I bought and was super excited to get, but <laughs> anyways. It could also be said that this could be like for the typical makeup junkie who just likes to collect everything and has 30 of the same exact shade between all their palettes and is looking for just that one certain shade that they don't have in any of their other palettes. That 
uh, there's an argument to be made for that. For the price point being $52, I do think that that's a reasonable price for what you're paying for because these are super high-end shadows. This isn't like your drugstore shadow. I'm not saying drugstore shadows are crap because most of them are really good, but just what you're paying for, you're paying for, I mean, you're paying for the Jeffree Star name, obviously, but you're also paying for something super, super high quality. And I honestly can say every single one of these shadows are high quality. I've used them all. They all have really good color payoff. Even these uh, glittery shades, they're not too crazy and weird. And some of them, actually this one, <laughs> funny that I just picked this one, Ocean Ice. It will crumble a little bit underneath your eyes, so if you are more prone to not being careful when doing your makeup, I would definitely put on your foundation and the rest of your face last. I would do your eyes first because this one does crumble a little bit, but once it's on your lids, it'll stay on your lids. I think that my general consensus is I like this palette. I don't love this palette because I'm not reaching for it as much as I thought I would be when I purchased it. When I purchased it, I was so excited and so just ready to dive into everything Jeffree Star, but once I actually got into it and started realizing yeah, blue eyeshadows aren't really like my typical day-to-day -day look. Um, that's kind of what I realized. Well, maybe I shouldn't have bought this palette. But with that being said, I am glad that I have it because there are certain times when I do want a certain blue and then I know where to go to find it. I think that's about all I have to say about this palette. If you guys have this palette, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are and if you still reach for this palette at all. I would love to know your guys' thoughts and opinions on this type of video, if you guys would like this type of video because, I don't know, I, I think it's kind of fun to like dive down memory lane and see what else I got in my collection and really analyze what I actually use and maybe it'll actually help me sort of declutter some of these things and realize, oh, I'm not reaching for that at all. I should probably get rid of it because, you know, I'm sure you guys are the same. We could all use a makeup purge every once in a while. Um, so that is about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like it, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and ring the notification bell. That way you're notified when I post a new video because I don't have a set schedule. <laughs> and yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.